Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're going to talk about uh, care of the newborn, which again is in chapter 37. So care of the newborn, we've now um, realized in birth was imminent. We've delivered this baby. What do we do now? Well, we know we have two patients. We have mom and we have baby. We need to assess the baby using the APGAR score. The APGAR scoring system provides a good overall indication of the baby's condition. And it should be done one minute after delivery and five minutes after delivery. Your book gives you a good um, chart on the APGAR score, and we're going to take it uh, part by part. So appearance. Appearance is going to determine uh, how does the baby look? Is the baby a normal color for all over their body? Or do they have, uh, or are they cyanotic or, or are they pale? If the baby has blue hands and blue feet and their feet, I'm sorry, feet, <laughs> uh, blue hands and blue feet, and but their core is still blue, okay? That's called acrocyanosis. You need to know that term. We're going to assess their pulse rate. Uh, one of the most important signs of whether oxygen is reaching the newborn's tissue or not is following birth by deter or following birth is by determining their heart rate. Okay, you're going to score these babies according to that APGOR chart. Grimace or reflex irritability. If the new does the newborn display no reflexive activity upon your stimulation, or do they have some slight facial grimace? Or, or are they coughing and sneezing and crying? We want to irritate these babies. We want to get their blood flow and their oxygenation going, okay? Activity, we're determining their activity level. During your assessment, if the newborn is limp or displays no extremity movement, does the newborn only provide some sort of flexion and activity movement when they're stimulated? or is the newborn actively moving around, moving their little arms and their legs? Okay, that's good signs. We next determine their respiratory status. Is the newborn um, not breathing at all? Their rest, they have no respiratory effort. Is the newborn breathing slow or irregularly? Do they have a weak cry? Or, or they, do they have a strong cry and they're, they're really irritated? Okay, a good irritated newborn is what we want. Um, so once you, you score, you give points according to the APGAR score, you're going to total those points, okay? And a total point of 7 to 10 points, you're going to provide routine care. If that baby is awarded a total of 4 to 6 points, you may need to stimulate them and give them some oxygen. They're moderately depressed. Where they have or when they have zero to three points, they are severely depressed, okay? We need to provide extensive care, including but not limited to oxygenation via BVM and CPR if necessary, okay? All of this is going to be determined according to your APGOR score. Remember, we do it after the first minute of birth and after the fifth minute of birth. All right. Now, let's talk about what we should do within the first 30 seconds of delivery. We're going to dry these little babies. We're going to warm them up. We're going to provide an airway for them without providing hyperflexion. So we're going to put them in a sniffing position. We're going to suction if necessary. We're going to stimulate them by flicking their little feet, okay? We don't turn them upside down by holding them by their feet and smacking their bottom. No, we don't do that anymore. You just simply flick the little soles of their feet, okay? You want to get them crying. Now we want to determine their heart rate. If their heart rate is less than 100 or there are no gasping respiration or they are gasping or they're not even breathing, immediately suction and provide positive pressure ventilation. 
if their breathing is present but it's labored and cyanosis is persistent position the babies and clear their airways okay provide blow by oxygen if necessary next we want to determine their heart rate if their heart rate is greater than 100 assess their pulse ox respiratory rate and tidal volume if their heart rate is less than 100 remember it should be really high if their heart rate is less than 100 immediately suction the airway and begin positive pressure ventilation now if their heart rate is less than 60 guys you need to begin compressions with positive pressure ventilation when their heart rate reaches a rate above 60 you can wean oxygen to achieve extra uterine pulse oximetry and oxygenation values and this can all be found on table 37-2 so the key if they're breathing good great that's what we want but if their heart rate is less than 60 i'm sorry less than 100 we want to immediately suction and begin bagging them if their heart rate is less than 60 we're going to start compressions and start bagging them okay it's 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 imperative to keep their respiratory status up because normally well and not, let me not use the word normally respiratory compromise leads to cardiac compromise so we keep their airway open we keep their respiratory center moving and working we keep them from going into cardiac arrest okay um if meconium is present and only if meconium is present do we suction right we said that in the previous review module or review um meeting suction their nose and mouth and begin positive pressure ventilation okay or you may begin um once you suction if they're starting to breathe adequately you may have to provide blow by oxygen only so positive pressure ventilations if their respirations are absent or depressed and there's poor muscle tone and their heart rate is less than 100 okay all right the, this was a short review but it's imperative that you read on uh care for the newborn there's a lot of information in there but I hit the highlights and know your APGOR score.